So in Sekiro, you've got the Healing Gourd, which works like the Estus Flasks and Dark Souls if you played those games. You start with only one charge of healing, but through finding gourd seeds in the environment, you can expand that to a total of 10 charges. That means there's 9 healing gourds somewhere out there. So in this video, I've compiled them all. Every gourd seed you can find in the general order that they show up. I'm going to try to keep spoilers to a minimum, but I'll display the nearest sculptor's aisle name in text to go with each seed that I find. With all that said, let's get collecting. Alright, probably the first one you're going to find is in the Ashina outskirts. This is the outskirts wall gate path. Pass through this area. And it's actually dropped by the general just up ahead. So if you felt like skipping him the first time through, just remember to come back and kill him. And if you did kill him, which I'm guessing most people probably did, I don't want to be as presumptuous here, but I'm assuming that most people probably went ahead and killed this guy. Some of these are going to be just right along your main path, and some of them are going to be more hidden. There he is. See, pretty easy to backstab him, but... For some reason, I felt like taking him on mano e mano There we go, but if you beat him, then there it is. Next one is in the Ashina outskirts again. This is in the outskirts wall stairway. This is where you fight the Chained Ogre. It's in the building right past the Chained Ogre. So I've already killed him at this point. Hey, grapple up there. Yeah, take a left. And it's right here. Alright, that's two down. Alright, this is the Ashina Castle Gate. So we're still in the Ashina outskirts. This is right after you fight uh, Gibu. Gibu, whatever that guy's name is. The horseback guy. After you fight him, then you go up here. Instead of progressing towards the castle, we go to this little uh, outside building. You don't go inside. You pass around the outside of it. Climb up here. And there's a memorial mob. An item seller. You can buy it off of him for a thousand sen. Alright, this one's much further down. This is bought from the info broker. This is in the castle. The first thing you need to do is find the info broker. He's on the uh, right side of like the castle entrance. This is right from the castle gate. This is kind of like that large open area where there's some night jar ninjas protecting it. He's up against the wall uh, with, next to the main entrance, like the main entrance stairway, pathway, that leads up into the front door of the castle. He's near that wall, but he's on the other side of it. Talk to him. Yeah, he gives you a little memo. He's the information broker, that's what he does. 
Yeah, but after you talk to him, then he will appear in the dilapidated shrine. This is when you can actually buy things from him. There's the Gordon You can buy it for 2,000 sen. Okay, this next one is further up in the Ashina Castle. This is the upper tower antechamber sculptor statue. It's basically the first one you get when you enter the castle. This one is right near this. And it's like right as you come in. You can't miss it. It's in a big treasure chest. Yeah, see that? That's where it is. That's another Gourd Seed. Alright, this one is from the Undershrine Valley. This is in the Sunken Valley. This one is a little hidden. So I'll show you like the entire process of me getting to it. And I follow along this path. And basically you'll find a grapple point that's a little out of the way. A little hard to notice. And I'll take you up to a little hut that you can find the Gourd Seed at. Here we go, it should be the right direction. I didn't have a chance. It looks like there's nothing up here, but you can keep going up. There we go. And there it is. Next one is in the Senpu Temple. This is just a sculptor's isle. It's literally called Senpu Temple, Mount Congo. This is past this first section. This is where you get to the uh, first immortal you ever see. There's a gourd seed right in front of him. There's a bunch of monks you have to fight to get to it. Okay, at this point, now we're coming up on where we need to be. Alright, but see that shiny item? That's the Gourd Seed. I'll just take out all these guys. 
And there's a lot of them, including a big guy. And I'll take our prize. Well, before we deal with this guy. Yeah, he's alive too. Not much value in killing him, but there it is, because uh, he's just going to get right back up. Alright, this next one is in Mibu Village. This is way further ahead in the game. This one is in front of the big orange glowing tree. It's hard to miss, but it's also hard to actually get to. It's something that you might just be tempted to ignore. This place is swarming with undying enemies and also annoying guys that crawl on the ground and grab you from like the little graves. But yeah, if you want to, just avoid them. Just run in, grab the gourd seed, and run out. And that'll get you through it. And this last one is in the palace grounds. This is pretty much near the very end of the game. And right there. That is the palace grounds sculptor's idol. You have to get a pretty decent ways into the fountainhead palace. This is near the end of it to find this one. But once you're here, you go to this spooky room. This is very Bloodborne-y. This is a From Software game after all. They just can't help themselves. And these guys find you eventually, but they're not like some of the other ones. Like, do like the enfeebling to you if they look at you too long. These ones, they're just pathetic monsters you can kill easily. Alright, but see that treasure chest? That is where our final prize is, and that is the last Gourd Seed is. That's all nine of them. So, there you are. If you did all that, then you have ten healing charges. You're going to need them. So, <laughs> if you found this video helpful, then please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.